More resources are coming in to help fight this fire, but staffing and equipment is just nowhere near where it should be. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas is live now in Ben Lomond, one of the areas firefighters are keeping a close eye on tonight. That's right, Aaron. Ben Lohman and really all along the Highway 9 corridor. This is where Cal Fire is really focusing their efforts. The fire right now burning west of Highway 9. They want to keep it over there, but you can see all of this smoke. The air quality really abysmal right now. And again, firefighters focusing on keeping the fire west of Highway 9, protecting structures and small towns like Ben Lohman, Boulder Creek, and Felton. A heartbreaking scene in the Riverside Grove neighborhood just north of Boulder Creek. A single flame from the rubble of what used to be someone's home. It's just tough. It's, you know, I would see, you know, I see concrete foundations where houses used to be. San Jose resident and former Ben Lohman volunteer firefighter Adam Beck said it was images like these he saw while watching the news that made him come back to protect his hometown. Called some buddies up. I asked them if I could pick up a shovel, cut some fire line, and I'm here. Nearly 200 more firefighters joined Beck on the front lines Friday bringing the total to over 1,100. But it's still considered extremely understaffed for what's being called a historic firefight. Typically on an event like this, we probably have, like I said, about 10 to 20 times the amount of, of, of the firefighters um, and the resources. Resources right now are spread throughout the state. As fire crews battle more than 500 fires burning hundreds of thousands of acres. Because of that, we're really having to change the way we, we do business and our strategy and our tactics. Cal Fire said they're deploying what's called bump and run tactics. They bounce from house to house, knock down fire, move fire around the house the best they can, bump onto the next one. Uh, normally, if we have everything that we possibly could have as far as resources, we'd be able to be a little bit more static with that, put in a lot more control lines and so forth. Meanwhile, firefighters on the ground tell us on top of that, steep terrain, thick dry brush and narrow roads are adding to the difficulty of fighting a fire that's leaving destruction in its path. It's tough to see that, but we're just doing what we can to, to you know, find the fight the defensible space and just do what we can to, you know, protect so and stay safe. And more resources are expected to trickle in as out of state help is now on the way. Meanwhile, Cal Fire has had two damage survey teams scouring the area. They're expected to have five out here tomorrow, which means we will get a better idea of the destruction. But unfortunately, the numbers are expected to climb. Aaron, Dan. Pretty tough pictures to see. Uh, thank you, Christopher.